The jazz overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. Well, here we are. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? Oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. Oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time it's for real. I was hoping to have missed the main event. You're a rusty old cock, that's why. <laughs> so says the little butt jam. But what? That's not even a word. It is now, all because of you. You should feel honored, butt jam. Uh, you know, Sonny, sometimes you're like an evil little child. Ist das nicht die Angestellte mit einem Fuchs? Aber wahrscheinlich kann Tiere nicht unterscheiden. Handlanger. Huh. Another Lupus movie. Jeez. Is there nothing today they're not trying to sell with this guy? Whoa, don't be rude, Sonny. Lupus is a timeless genius. Have you seen Predator City? God, I'm still getting chicken bumps. But wait, who's that next to him? Cassandra Ruby Fay. Nah, never heard of her. Cassandra Ruby Fay. Oh, gods, even her name makes me go weak in the knees. Watch your blood pressure, pal. Don't mind me, just women and guns are my only weakness. <laughs> No shit. Und danke, Tunika, für dein Twitch Prime Abo. The fox is a wolf who sends flowers. What? <laughs> oh, nothing. I read it somewhere. Fascinating. I didn't know you could read. Ha ha ha. Very funny. This guy is certainly not a gangster henchman. Of course he's not. Auf gar keinen Fall. <lacht> Weißkopfadler. So, where the hell is Natasha? Let's ask that stud over there with those nice gals. Mm, that guy looks way too horny for my taste. Oh man, your sense of humor is bad as ever. You just need to get used to it again. What if... Uh... She has pretty long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. We're not here to stare at pretty squirrels. We're here to investigate, remember? The Barman is a Pferd with langer Mähne. Hmm. Look, uh, Sonny, I know it's not my place, but Laura's father went to that guy when his you know, problems uh, had gone too far. I have no alcohol problem. I pray every day to God. Und er hilft mir bei meinem Problem, weil selbst kann ich mein Problem nicht mehr lösen. You're treading on thin ice, Marty. No, I just... 
Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boyle took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Look, I, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Good. And let it stay that way. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure, Marty. Ich habe doch nur eine einsame Whiskyflasche weggenommen, bevor ein herumstreuendes Kind es aus Versehen trinkt. Hicks Pudel und Claire Turmoil und Anna Shiny. Murder my tweet. Oh, I've seen this. Hicks Pudel plays a private eye, hired to look for a woman, then gets into some kind of blackmail thing that's connected to the first case. And hey, uh, Marty. What? Yeah. I don't give a shit. Bogen and Bandicoot. The Big Sheep. This is done for hire. So, mit dir muss ich nicht quatschen. Ich will den Barmann ansprechen, weil er einfach geile Haare hat. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, Longface, give me a glass of tap water too, okay? Er sagt eigentlich Langgesicht, das wird übersetzt mit Hey Hippo. Yes, sir, coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. Tell me, hey breath, have you seen Natasha tonight? Not yet, sir, but she's coming on soon. Well, can you tell me anything about Mr. Ibn Wessler? Sir, I... I don't want to. What about, let's see, five dollars maybe? But, sir, you haven't even paid for your drinks yet. Yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, big nose. You do your job and we'll do ours, okay? I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to relax. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Just a little fun. <laughs> of course, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, your drinks. Yeah, uh, sorry, but we have to run. Uh, thanks anyway, Bojack. Ugh. My name is not Bojack. Yeah, I tip you, pal, but I don't have any change, so... <laughs> sure, sir. The Tsar welcomes you back anytime. Sounds good, Bojack. <sighs> Anything else, sirs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Ed. Keep up the good work. Da muss ich wirklich mit den Weißkopf. Ich denke mal schon, dass ein Weißkopf Adler ist. Hey, there's Filmar. Who? Oh yes, Filmar, because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. Yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. Irgendeine Form des Falkens. Wir können das sogar überprüfen. Falke. Film Low. Besonderen Merkmal absolut durchschnittlich im Aussehen, wenig einprägsam und ein alter Bekannter aus Averian. Und Averian war, glaube ich, hier schon drin, dass das ein Land, was ausschließlich von Vögeln bewohnt wird. Well, well, if it isn't the great detective, Marlow. 
blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Okay, Mr. Dumbass alias Phil Marlowe. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? <laughs> hey, that was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clapped tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that, legs, angelic voice, demonic eyes, just the usual. Oh boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Aber es wechselt sich manchmal ab, also manchmal ist die deutsche Übersetzung unten im Text doch passender vom Wortwitz her als die englische. Aber natürlich sind die Witze eigentlich auf Englisch ausgelegt. Aber es ist nicht so, dass das also die Information total zerrissen wird oder falsch ist, was unten steht. Any useful information? For free? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out, in which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other, I'll deny you in a blink. Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. Der Rattenboss kommt. Olivia die Krähe. That woman with Ibn. I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, pal. Isn't that? Yes, it is. The great Ibn Wessler in the flesh. So much for our incognito. You think he noticed us? Only if he's not entirely blind. Ah. Uh. Great. Just act nonchalant, my friend. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Olivia? No, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? <laughs> It's me, Marty McChicken. Oh, God. What a pleasant surprise. The Rooster Coppers in person. Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is... Uh, he is... Wings spricht die Ratte so, wie ich mir das vorgestellt habe. Marty McChicken, sir. I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion seconds ago. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Hello, boys. So, to what do we owe this pleasure, gentlemen? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> we, we were, um, just in the neighborhood and... Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh. I see. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood red paint. The usual stuff. You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh yeah, indeed. 
It's a nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter, but to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. But I'm kind of busy. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hamtaro yesterday, so he's rather tired. If you would excuse us. Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? And if I've heard correctly, they're notoriously thorough. So, how can I help you? We've got a few questions, if you don't mind. I'm at your service. Für einen Kingpin ist er ziemlich nett. Look, Detective. If you want to know something, just ask. All right, Mr. Wessler. Nice Den kann ich vernehmen. Well, thank you, but it's not mine. Not anymore. But I'm sure you already know that. Listen, Detective. If you want to know something, please ask straight, huh? All right, Mr. Wessler, let's make this a bit more professional. Er will uns so Sachen nicht beantworten. Er will vernommen werden. Wessler is a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall yet. Die Augen von dem. How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Good point. Thank you. Are we done? No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. Durchtrieben und misstrauisch. Why didn't you just call the police? Huh? Why? What would have been the use of that? A few messages aren't enough for a case. You should know that. Harassment makes for a case. So do threats. Who are you trying to convince, Sonny, huh? They would have laughed in my face. Anyway, you know, the police station. Once I set foot in there, nah, I'm not coming out again. Your lawyers are too good for that, Eben. Yeah, I guess you're right, chicken. Ja, aber minus 15. Why would anyone have reason to blackmail your girlfriend? I don't know. Uh, maybe because she's my girlfriend? You think that's enough? It's plenty enough. Good point. Oh, are you finally getting to a point? Or do you really want to dig around in my private life? Because, uh, people who do that end up in the alley, if you catch my drift. Very much so, Mr. Wessler. Wessler is tougher than I thought, and he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Oh, ganz sachte nähern. Aber wenn ich über sein Privatleben rede, pisst er mich an. Were there any similar incidents in Natasha's past? I mean, 
Threats, blackmail, enemies, or insane fans. Psychopath pianists, perhaps. Mm, I don't know about enemies, but she's a celebrity. A star shining bright in Clawville's night sky. Do you understand? She gets endless fan mail. It could be anybody. Eh, I wouldn't overreact. Natasha doesn't feel that way. I've noticed. Okay, das war schon mal gut. Do you think one of her fans is the culprit? Someone who can't take rejection, maybe. Why not? It's quite common. It's a typical motive, indeed. Any ideas who it could be? Yeah. Attorney General Hantaro is obsessed with Natasha. But he's, uh, more like the kiss on the hand, flowers bowing type. Throwing bricks through the window is not his style. I can't think of anybody else. Or rather, I can think of everybody else. About half the city, actually. I get it. Wings geht er mich gerade nicht aggressiv an. Have there been similar threats in the past? Right to the point, yeah? Yeah, I get it. But sadly, this is a dead end, my friend. No, no threats like these. Uh, whether you believe it or not. Well, it really seems like a dead end, so I'll just back up and try from a different angle. You do that. Aufs Revier wird der ja noch nicht mitkommen. Aber ich finde beide Antworten scheiße. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out, huh? A simple answer would work. Yeah, <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh, how was it? Uh, uh, when was it exactly? You don't remember? That's strange. Ah, yeah, the millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the Millions back then. Hm. She was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Then one day, I invited her for a drink with a promise that if she was willing to meet me, I'd buy the place for her. Now I guess she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Well... That is romantic. Yeah, there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. There's cheap and there's expensive. You get what you can afford. That was sogar positive, obwohl ich das als eine für jemanden, der angeblich aufbrausend ist, eine richtig beschissene Frage fand. Do you live in the same house as Natasha? Oh, you're really something. Natasha is a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at my place in Gold Town. But she has her own kind of a weekend house. Hmm, how often does she use the weekend house? Yeah, every other weekend, roughly. I see. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. Is she completely alone when she's there at the weekend? As I've told you, Natasha's a free woman, eh? She's an adult. She doesn't need an escort. Or, uh, she didn't need one until now. Are you afraid for her? You know, a big star like her, alone in that house? I never said a black car doesn't drive by two or three times a day, but, uh, it's just caution. Huh. I'm not a monster after all, am I? I suppose not. Hm. 
So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone. Hey, I know what you're getting at, but I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles, banquets and dinners are frequent. Hmm, illegal gambling nights. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy by the roulette wheel. Always putting it all on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always on the red. You're right. So, can we meet your lady? Mm, I don't see why not. But first, please, listen to her sing. She's on soon. Das war nicht so gut. Was? Das war doch 90% Fokusgenauigkeit. Das hat sich gar nicht so angefühlt bei dem. IBN versucht jedes Mal, das Thema zu wechseln, sobald wir auf die Drohungen zu sprechen kommen. Er weiß eindeutig mehr, als er zugebt. Ich hatte das ja, ein schlechteres Gefühl. Thank you for your time. We'll be seeing you. I have no doubt about that, unfortunately. Hey, uh, we should uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. You know, for old times' sake. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Oh. Ach, Marty, wenn du deine verflossenen Frauen besser, be <lacht> besser behandeln würdest. Please, take a seat. The show's gonna start soon. That was um, unique. Nicht die schärfste Katze. Oh, that is cute. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Uh, forgive me, my name is Santino Featherland. I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. More or less? Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. Ahem. <clears throat> you were amazing, dear. As always. Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? Cocktail? But of course. Ibn will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. <sighs> Doesn't matter he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. <laughs> My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. 
come alone, Sunny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Hey. Welch ein Fisch will ich mir Sorgen machen? I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Oh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go, before he comes back. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies, or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. But I was a cop, and a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. Ich glaube nicht, dass es Sexszenen geben wird. I bet you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror. Do you even recognize yourself? <lacht> Maybe you were trying to be rude, but you know, that's a very good question. I was just trying to be rude. Oh, really? Well, then I'm sorry. Don't mention it. Gee, that is a uh, unique picture and kind of daring. I admit I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before. Yes, I admit it's a little daring. I keep it. It evokes good memories. A precious old friend of mine. A most wonderful artist. He's got an eye, that's for sure, considering his model. Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're funny. Ja, das war schon. You got a beautiful place here, Natasha. A peaceful little island on the ocean of madness with very classy furniture. Ibn likes me surrounded by elegant things, you know. You're an elegant thing yourself, sweetheart. Oh, that's charming. Thank you, Detective. Jetzt war's alles. This woman's aware of her charm, and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Featherland? In a glass. But thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. Brauch nicht noch mehr Bourbon. Bin schon hacke voll zur Arbeit gegangen. I hope it doesn't bother you if I have one myself. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you are a funny guy. So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Featherland. It's Sunny. Saves us a lot of time. Okay, Sunny. So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my presence. It must be exhausting. <laughs> It is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? 
terribly. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... Oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop, Sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. Well then, Sonny. Come at me. Oh, that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. Hm. Wir werden versucht, jedes Mal das Thema zu wechseln, sobald wir auf die Drogen zu sprechen. Achso, das haben wir ja. Er weiß bestimmt was. Seriously, how did you find me? Not even my boss knows where I live. Although I didn't include Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. Yeah, let me guess. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? You're so cute when you're playing naive. Have you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. And otherwise? Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. But you will find nothing but a dead end. <laughs> Natasha is a confident woman. I can exploit that. But I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. That was a remarkable performance. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Irgendwie sieht sie von vorne schlechter aus als von der Seite. Ich finde sie von der Seite eine attraktivere Katze. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time. But the stage still calls my name. And I perform just a few times a year. And always with a new song. So that was all the excitement. Von vorn verstört mich der Anblick von Sunny. Ja, weil Sunny von vorne einfach nur spitz zuläuft. Es ist halt Mikrokopf. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. The place is very elegant and uh, so is your room. Why thank you? I kind of feel like I'm in a museum. That depends on the kind of museum. The kind with nice things. Oh. Suspiciously nice things, just like you. Do you think I'm suspicious? We'll see about that. Try me. Jeder Vogel ist von vorne verstörend. Ey, das ist auch rassistisch. Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threat? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know, 
The soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Ah, I see. Selbstbewusst, geheimnisvoll und kalt. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? You may think I'm irresponsible, but I didn't keep any of it. I simply couldn't bear to look at them. Didn't you think maybe the police would need it? I didn't think I needed the police. Moreover, do you think the girlfriend of Ibn Wessler could ever turn to the cops? I see. So, what about me? How do I come into the picture? It sounds ridiculous, but you're my last hope. That does sound ridiculous, but I accept my ego and uh, old habits. You can't do anything else, can you? Something like that. A leopard can't change its spots. Deep behind the diamond skin, lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. Ja, frontal sieht das bei Sunny wirklich schlimm aus. What was in those threats exactly? The message itself is not a threat. It's just a word. But a word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So? You really don't have any idea which word could be used for a woman like me? I guess I do. Yes, I think I know what it could be. <laughs> und zwar Cat Dog. Whore. Oh, nah dran. <clears throat> Cat got your tongue? Am I right? You heard it. I said what you were thinking. And yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall. In giant red letters. Well, thank you for your honesty. Römer geht nach Haus, muss man nur. Das ist das Einzige, was man in roten Buchstaben schreiben darf. Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? You mean, I'm a cat, and he's a rat? Every interracial relationship has risk. But yes, this one's more conspicuous than most. Clawville's a very open and free city. But I guess you see more radical transgressions than I do. One of the most common causes in homicidal and predatory cases, ma'am. So, yes. Well, I don't know about that. Nobody ever questioned our relationship openly. We are what we are. And you know, if you're interested in my personal feelings, danger fills our relationship with a flavor no other can replace. It must be one interesting relationship, that's for sure. I'm not sure I can feel the same, but I can certainly understand it. Maybe one day you'll experience it, Sonny. Have you ever been with a predator before? Well... Well... That's unsteady ground, Natasha. Let's turn the questioning around, if you don't mind. 
<laughs> As you wish, Sunny. Das äh, Gespräch läuft ziemlich gut. Und ja, ich habe meinen Mobs hochgeholt, weil der immer auf meinen Schoß kommt manchmal, wenn ich vor einem Rechner bin. Zeig uns deinen Mobs Poof. Er ist schwarz, ich bin schwarz. Ihr seht überhaupt nichts, wie ich ihn hochhebe. Vor allem jetzt liegt er erstmal. How many fools like me have you used up, Natasha? Und die Katze ist auf dem Katzbaum gerade. Eigentlich eineinhalb Meter rechts von mir. Ich habe eigentlich bis jetzt gedacht, vielleicht würde Leo irgendwann mal hier hochhüpfen, wie man es so aus anderen Streams kennt, wo plötzlich Katzen einfach auftauchen. Aber zurzeit ist er daran nicht interessiert. In all my life? Well... Und Leo ist nicht schwarz. I just forget it. I don't want to know. Curiosity killed the cat. No pun intended. I'm just joking. You're not a fool, Sonny. I know that was supposed to be a kind of insult, but it usually rolls right off me. I can't take cock a doodling, so you can put aside the strutting stuff while you're talking to me. Fair point. Broadcast received, ma'am. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Ja, jetzt will ich wissen, wer sie meine Ex-Freundin kennt. Let's stop beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you, no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator, or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse, too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent fowl, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? I did. I knew I checked you out before I sent Deborah. Cluck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. What exactly do you want from me? You are really as good as they say you are. And I'm not selling lucky dips, Annie. Find them, whoever they are, and whatever it takes not exactly but something like that you know if I didn't see the speck of fear behind the confidence shining in your eyes I wouldn't take the case I'm not afraid you're terrified Natasha don't be ashamed you must solve this as soon as you can money's not an issue Mein Gott. Aber das habe ich auch nicht wirklich gemerkt. Also es war vielleicht dann zu offensiv geflirtet mit ihr am Anfang. Die Drohung oder eher Beleidigung in den Botschaften an Natascha ist immer dieselbe Hure, knapp aber trotzdem vielsagend. Just one more thing, Sonny. Natasha? Please, come to 
37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. Hmm. I knew you would understand. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Look, Natasha, you know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Ich habe mir erst gedacht, dass wir... Also Natascha ist auf jeden Fall eine Ostblock-Katze. Natascha bat mich, sie in ihrem Wochenendhaus zu besuchen, wo sie mir etwas zeigen möchte. Normalerweise würde mir so eine Einladung sehr gefallen, aber jetzt mache ich mir Sorgen. Ähm... Was wollte ich sagen? Am Anfang habe ich übrigens gedacht, bevor ich das Spiel angefangen habe, dass mich dieser Schwarz-Weiß-Stil irgendwann richtig stören wird wegen der fehlenden Farbe. Aber irgendwie so gar nicht. Man gewöhnt sich da voll dran. 